guys, welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. My name's Megan. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, and lifestyles. So if you're interested in any of those topics, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell down below so you don't miss any of my content. So not this upcoming Monday, but the following Monday, we are actually going to be leaving out of the country for the first time since COVID. And we are going to Paris and London. I am so, so, so excited. So today I wanted to do a video on packing luxury handbags. I do want to do one a little closer to time about just packing for Paris in general, but today we are going to focus on handbags, how to pack luxury handbags, and I'm super excited about it. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to start with first is the bags that I plan on taking with me and why. So you guys know the first one on the list is the one I take with me pretty much anywhere. It is the perfect travel tote, and if you guys have watched my other videos, you will know this about me that I love, love, love this handbag. You'll know that when I went to New York, that would have been January, I feel like. I took this with me. I pretty much travel with this handbag at all times for my like personal item that they allow on the plane. So that is going to be my Neverfull MM. And I take my Damier Abin one. You guys know I also have the Azure, but I take the Abin because of the color. I feel like I'm so nervous about the Azure rubbing up against something. It's so light, but with this Damier Abin, I feel like I have none of those concerns or complaints. I have no worries about it rubbing or brushing up against something. It is still in really, really good condition condition and I take this with me like I said every single time I travel it never gets full we know that so I would say first thing one of my very first handbags that I am definitely taking to Paris with me is going to be my never full MM and my Damier Abin and this is what I plan to also try to stack maybe even some of my smaller handbags inside we'll have to see kind of how that fits within my suitcase later but love 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 perfect travel handbag perfect travel companion you can fit not only your additional handbags in here if you're taking some but also every single thing that you can think that you'll need and give you some additional space in that personal item because i feel like when you're taking just a crossbody for your personal item here going from atlanta our personal item has to be a purse and even your carry-on so it's not like you can have a crossbody this and your carry-on you have to put be able to put your purse in here if this is not serving as your purse. So I feel like this gives you the ability to put your sunglasses, your wet wipes, your contacts, your contact solution, your eyeglasses, everything will fit in here. And you can even carry your little crossbody bag and slip it in there as your one item that you can carry along with your carry-on suitcase. So if you guys have any questions about the Dummy Arabian, you know, just let me know. I've had this never full. This was one of the first handbags I ever purchased. So I've had it for a very, very long time and I'm going to continue to keep it because like I said, I couldn't imagine traveling without this handbag at that at this point. If that changes for me in the future, I'll let you guys know. But for now, love it, love it, love it. Definitely top one for travel in my opinion. So let's go ahead and move on to the second handbag I plan on taking and why. So the second handbag I plan on taking with me is actually my super mini Gucci Marmont. And this one I love because it is so tiny. So if I want to have some of my things more accessible, so I want to put like my wallet, my phone, things like that in here, passport even to where I can grab it quickly, I could fit this perfectly comfortably within my Neverfull and not have any issues. And I feel like this beige just goes with everything. I think they call it like a nude pink is the color, but I just love this. I feel like it goes with so many things. It's super versatile. And that's one thing I love about it. If you watched my video on my Abercrombie and Fitch haul of things that I took with me to New York, I was telling you guys that in that video particularly, I tried to pick items that were very like colored so that I could intermix them and mix and match. And same with my handbags. I want to be able to intermix them and mix and match as I need to. So hopefully I'll take less because with international travel, you only have, so we have one personal item, one carry-on and one checked bag. And after that checked bag, you do have to pay for any additional bags. So I'm going to try to keep all of that within those bags. And hopefully my husband will save a little bit of space for me and his because I'm trying really hard not to pack any additional bags. So what I'm hoping to do is to 
pick and choose similar colored items so that I can mix and match them and hopefully end up packing less because we are going to be there for eight days. I want to say nine, including travel. So it's really, really important for me to try to streamline things as much as possible. But going in back into this little beauty here. So it has just kind of this little opening here and those are just the tags still. So excuse those. Now it does have this little clamp that you can put your keys on and it'll definitely hold wallet phone i do have a video on mini handbags that i've done as well and this one is included in that and like i said i definitely plan on taking this as a crossbody option one thing also about this is i know a lot of people suggest bringing a clutch as well for when you're out to dinner and i feel like this is one of the few handbags i feel that can also serve as like a little clutch for me as well so number two bag Gucci Marmot Super Mini. Now, another thing, because you guys know I usually will take my Louis Vuitton Mini Palm Springs with me as well on vacation because I like the ability to be able to have something that either, either is a backpack form or, in this case, a fanny pack. So, this is really amazing because you can actually clamp it take your strap and kind of double it around and turn it into a little like a little fanny pack i actually did that here and that is how it fits and how super cute is that as like a little fanny pack i can open it get easy access in and this just turned out to be so versatile not only like i said can i carry it as this little fanny pack idea but i can also carry it as a clutch carry it cross-bodied so this is definitely going to be coming with me as an easy option for me to be able to use it throughout the day as i need it so second hand bag i would say after you have your tote bag going with you go ahead and get a crossbody and something that can serve as a crossbody and a clutch if possible and i know a lot of people say the wallet on chains are good for that as well but mine is going to be my super mini gucci marmot here so leading into my next handbag, I kind of hinted on this earlier. Now, if you guys have been internationally more common than I have, which is probably not hard to do, let me know on this because I haven't been international since pre-pandemic and I didn't have my mini Palm Springs before then. And I haven't taken it, of course, internationally with me. And my concern is I know a lot of people even talk about pickpocketers and people like that that may try to take your things. So I don't know how you guys would feel about wearing it as a backpack internationally, but usually, yes. Usually I would say my mini Palm Springs, I took it with me to New York when I wore it in New York City, I would either carry it by the handle or I would wear it as a crossbody. So kind of putting it over as such. And then I was able to kind of swing it in front of me like that. And I feel like that worked out really well, but I'm just curious if you guys feel like the Gucci could do the same effect. I'm thinking it will. I'm thinking, unfortunately, I'm going to leave this one at home this time because I feel like I can carry that one. Like I told you guys as the fanny pack to serve kind of as a backpack fanny needing to go out and be able to get to things fairly quickly. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to leave this baby at home to save space. So mini Palm Springs backpack usually would be one of my go-to for a short trip, like if I'm going to New York, for instance, but for international travel, I think I'm going to leave this one at home. You guys let me know. What I love about it for going here in the States is it does still hold quite a lot in my mini Palm Springs and I can just like throw things in here. Yes, you may have to dig to the bottom to get it back out, but it holds quite a lot in here. And usually let's take my Neverfull MM and this and just carry this as like my everyday bag with me. But Unfortunately, like I said, I don't think it's going to make it with me to Paris this time. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to leave you behind. But let's go ahead and move it on to the next bag. And you guys let me know if you've been internationally, how you feel about taking your Palm Springs backpack. So next handbag, I'll definitely be taking with me. So at this point, we have two going. We have my Neverfull MM as my travel bag. We have my Gucci Marmot Super Mini going with me. And this is going to be my crossbody, my clutch and also the bag I'm going to put my wallet phone in and stick it inside my Neverfull. And then the third one going with me is definitely going to be my 
Chanel medium size and my light beige. I went back and forth, back and forth because you guys know I also have the medium caviar leather in black, but I really, really, really wanted to take my light beige because I'm going to be wearing beiges. I also am going to be wearing blacks so and we're going to get to the black handbag in a second. But what I love about the medium Chanel size is it is a good crossbody for me. So I can wear this crossbody. I can wear it double chained. I can wear it pretty much to dinner during the day and it looks great at either one. And I am looking for versatility as I told you guys before. So I feel like this is going to take me day, night, wherever I need to go. It's in my caviar leather, mainly going to be focusing on taking my caviar bags with me because I'm hoping that they will hold up a little bit better during travel and while I have them out and ever I'm going into a situation where I can't really anticipate I like to take my caviar instead of my lamb skin so this one's definitely going to be coming with me as my third handbag as I said I'm trying to condense so I'm trying to make sure I can wear beiges browns creams whites and that will match with all of the handbags that I've shown you so far, but particularly this one will be a really great one, especially during my shopping days, to go and look super, super cute. It's really versatile, it's fairly light. So this one is definitely coming with me as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the next handbag that I plan on taking with me. So the fourth handbag I plan on taking with me is my Chanel 19 in the caramel brown. And again, this is just I love the softness of this. It definitely pulls a little bit more casual. So maybe if we're going more to museums or somewhere where we're gonna be out just kind of walking around a lot all day and I want something just easy to move around and soft and, you know, I just love this handbag. And it hasn't gotten a chance to go a lot of places with me yet because I usually just, like I said, take one or two bags with me anytime I'm going somewhere else because I'm not there usually for very long. So I'm really excited to get this one out of the country and get it some more wear and get some more outfits together with it. I just love this color. And again, it's gonna match with the color scheme that I have going on with the trip really, really, really well. So I'm so excited about finally getting this one out. One thing also about this one is that it ha also holds a lot of things in it. So that's one thing I also was concerned about when talking about bringing some bags, because as you guys know, the Neverfull is almost too large, I feel like, for like walking around, seeing museums, seeing exhibits, going to visit different places. And I feel like my Gucci Super Mini is going to be maybe a little bit too small for me to have my sunglasses for the day, my lip chat for the day, my hand sanitizer for the day, everything that I want to maybe carry throughout the day. So I feel like this was a great option to still hold a lot of different things throughout the day. It has a really nice large big opening, has your little pocket back there that I feel like I can definitely fit a daily essentials and more in this handbag with no issue. I love that it has the top handle and also the crossbody strap so it's versatile so and it even has a little back pocket here so even if I just wanted to stick my phone in there for easier access that's probably what I'll end up doing but this likely I foresee coming with me more to like I said touring museums walking around the cities just every day you know taken with me and still being able to fit plenty of things in here so super super duper excited about this as well and of course my Chanel 19 is not caviar leather I was just telling you guys that I wanted to take my caviar leather bags but what I will do with this one, of course, is keep an eye out for the weather, keep an eye out for the rain. I did want to include that in this video as well. Try to look and see how the weather is going to be for upcoming trips as well when you're going because you want to be able to make sure you don't have all lambskin handbags or, or handbags that you will worry that will get ruined or damaged really easily. So I'm definitely going to be watching the weather before I leave out for the day with this one just to make sure I don't get any water spots or stains or anything like that on this beautiful leather here. So I was speaking earlier about m taking my beige is for sure coming with me in my medium size. However, I realized I do need a black bag because in addition to my browns and my creams and my whites, I'm also going to be taking quite a few items that will match with black as well. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm bringing like cream, white, 
black shoes. So I tried to make my clothes match pretty easily with those colors. So going with my black bags, I definitely knew I wanted to take either my Chanel jumbo with me or I wanted to take my Chanel medium in the black. They are luckily both in caviar, so I don't have to be so concerned with the leather on these. I did do a comparison video between these two, so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. But I don't know. Now, what I will say is I'm leaning more towards my medium because it is smaller and a bit lighter. Like, let's be honest, even just holding them right now, I can tell the difference of the weight. Now, with that being said, of course, I'd be able to fit a lot more in here than I can fit in my medium. We know that. But when it comes to what I'm going to be using it for, hopefully walking around the town when I'm wearing my black outfits, because I said my Chanel 19 was definitely going to serve the purpose of that when I'm perusing but have on lighter colors but I feel like the black medium will be perfect for going around the town not feeling like I am having to hold something really heavy being able to use it cross body to keep my hands free and still being able to keep ma majority of things that I need in my comparison video you know that my wallet fits in here my phone fits in here a chapstick passport any of those things will definitely fit in here without an issue and be perfectly fine. So I'm really thinking this is going to go ahead and round up my bags. So this is going to be the one black handbag I am taking. The rest of them are going to be my light beige, my brown, and then my crossbody and my tote bag. And I feel like that's pretty well condensed. I feel like I'm doing pretty good and everything has its functionality at this point. So I'm really, really excited. You guys let me know if you have any further suggestions. I'd love to hear them. And now let's go ahead and talk about how I am going to pack them to go with me. So most importantly is I do plan on, of course, putting all of them in their dust bag. So luckily what I try to do when I store my handbags is I try to store the dust bag inside of the handbag that it goes with so that I don't lose them because I don't know about you guys, but once I start like chucking things in random places around my room, I am guaranteed to lose it. So to keep that from happening, I just go ahead and store it inside the handbag. And I feel like that helps me keep tabs on where it is a bit easier. So before we put it in the dust bag, one thing I also want to make sure that I do is to try to pull in the straps because my concern with that is that it is going to leave indentions so i try to pull in the straps inside the handbag as much as possible and you'll see a little bit is left out kind of on the sides there but i'm not going to worry about that too much if anything i'll maybe put a little bit of padding in between each of these just to make sure it's not resting or pushing up against it but otherwise I try to tuck the rest of it in and then I do just kind of slide it right in its dust bag and it kind of fits right there in the bottom there and I cover it with the top and then there you go it is back in its dust bag perfectly protected and I'll pack all of them like that now I was watching some other videos and people recommended even wrapping clothing around it once it's already in the dust bag and I can definitely see not only will that help me save space especially if I'm using sweaters but it will provide some additional padding in between the handbags as well I'll also likely lay down a layer on the bottom of my suitcase to keep it a little bit softer because I am I'm planning on doing a carry-on that is a hard shell suitcase so I'll probably provide some padding at the very bottom with a sweater or something like that to try to keep it from resting directly on my handbags and maybe even another one on top as well so first tip definitely making sure that you are packing each handbag in the dust bag and also making sure especially with anything with a chain that you're making sure it's not resting directly on your handbag that's particularly important if you're packing anything lambskin as well to make sure that it's not leaving any indentions within your handbag by the time you get to your destination. Also wanted to close with here is just reiterating that I definitely plan on taking all of my handbags with me in my carry-on, not my checked bag. 
just to avoid making sure nothing is taken or stolen on some of my most prized possessions. Also, so I recommend stuffing your handbags just to make sure that you're keeping it shape as much as possible. I know we talked about this earlier, but even if you're going to be putting one handbag into another handbag, just making sure that you also have a dust bag available for that one. I'm using my Dior one because it's also a small one and I couldn't find my dust bag. Of course, as I talked about it, I couldn't find the one for my Gucci one, but I do have my Dior one, thank goodness. So I'm going to take that with me and I will just, of course, put that in my never full and still have a plenty of leftover space for anything that I need to put in here. So like I said, next week, we are gonna put this truly to the test and try to put all of this into my luggage. So I can't wait to share that with you guys next week before I leave. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to share this entire Paris London trip with you guys after I come back and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.